I will square up with you and whoop your ass. There we go. Grown woman. And yes, I ran to my car and I grabbed my knife and I was going to cut Derek Santos. She's made ridiculous claims prior to this ever being leaked. Very few people like Clarissa Shields, at least online. If you go on X and you take a look at the people on there, they're gonna be saying she's cocky, she has a massive ego, who does she think she is? Sure, she's been able to accomplish amazing things within the sport of boxing, but she's someone who's so full of herself. She just doesn't give off the energy of the kind of person you'd wanna be around. Now, leaked footage from five years ago just became public of her getting knocked out, essentially, by a male pro boxer with a record of six and one. Now, why is that problematic and why do I bring up his record for? Well, he has two knockouts on his record. Well, take a look here. Artur's Amitavs. Now, again, six wins, one loss. That would be considered a pretty bad record. You don't want to have a loss on your record that early on, especially a knockout loss, right? That destroys a person's career. Unlike MMA, where you can win some, lose some, and, but still maintain some sort of career. Having only two KOs typically means that you're not a great puncher. Let's take a look at the actual footage and break it down as much as we can. It's very quick. It's a single shot, but let's take a look at it. Yes. There you go. It's a Whoa. left hook kind of uppercut looking. Let's see the angle again. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a hook. Essentially what's happening is they're both slipping the right hand, coming back with their own left hooks, but his lands and hers doesn't, and she's done. Okay, so obviously we have a situation where her feet are in the air. She doesn't move for a good second here. You'll see that? She's down. If you've ever been knocked down before, you know, you go, whoa, that hurt, you get up. She was laying there on the ground for a good second. Now, for most women and female boxers, they'd go, all right, I'm sparring men. That's impressive, right? That's something to be looked at as admirable. The issue is she's made ridiculous claims prior to this ever being leaked. This happened five years ago. Since that happened, she's called out Gennady Golovkin, one of the greatest middleweights of all time. Keith Thurman, underrated fighter, incredible athleticism, heavy puncher. Roley, Sean Porter. Sean Porter being known for going forward, being super aggressive, great analyst as well in the commentary booth. So she's called out world-class boxers, but she's being shown getting absolutely knocked out, essentially, by a six-in-one journeyman. And I say that with all due respect. He responded after this footage was leaked by saying, I've never been KO'd in 17 years, and I've been dropped two times all in a week of each other. I have no shame in that. But for a male fighter to literally take the padding out of his gloves, he's a punk. Him and coach Derek Santos are bad for the sport. So she's making a huge accusation that could imply criminal charges. She's saying that this motherfucker took out the padding in his glove. Now, if you don't know, fighters have been killed in the ring because they removed the padding from their gloves and landed devastating shots throughout the course of 12 rounds. I actually have a documentary that I did on this channel that talks about that. You can see people responding already. Remember when you said you would give Gennady Golovkin a run for his money? Laugh at my ass off. How about this one? Right, because it's not believable that a six and one male fighter with some training can knock down a female boxer and then he has Mr. Bean doing the winky eye. This goes back to my point. This is part of the issue is when you see someone who's established as a fighter, you expect them to have a certain level of self-control, a certain level of self-awareness to be able to say, I'm great, but I'm not going to beat this person or that person that's outside of my weight class. Clarissa Shields is blurring gender lines. She's saying that she can beat not just some pro boxers, but the greatest pro boxers of the era. And I think that's where people started to turn on her. Just to be clear, Clarissa Shields, one of the greatest female boxers of all time, Olympian, high level, never lost in the pros. And I always gave her a credit despite all the backlash she's gotten online. I've always supported her on X, even if I was going against the status quo. She even fought in PFL. If you guys remember, she had the courage to step into the cage and fight MMA without any prior grappling background. She even won one fight, if I'm not mistaken. But at a certain point, people just drew the line and said, yo, this lady is out of control. Now let's hear Clarissa speak from her own mouth about what happened. No, but the guy I sparred, he was, he was like a little, he's like a little Russian hater. He took the pat out of his gloves. I, I had whooped his ass on a Monday, mm. and his coach wanted to spar again on Thursday. But he caught me, but he didn't have no pattern in his gloves. He know exactly who he is. Damn. That's it. That sums it up. So she wasn't saying his name at this point, but she was bringing up the fact that he kicked her ass, etc. But this is before the actual video got leaked and she's saying that she was knocked down. So is she telling the truth? It's really tough to call. I wasn't there. The point is people don't like her. I don't give a f about being dropped, but what I will say is when a try to cheat me, you got me up. And yes, I ran to my car and I grabbed my knife and I was going to cut Derek Santos. Guess who stopped me? 
Coach John because I will slice his old ass up because don't ever cheat against me. She called out Derek Santos, who's this Russian cat's actual trainer, and this is what he had to say. She is full of shit. They asked for help to spar. Why would we want to spar a woman? No one took padding out of the gloves. After she was accusing of this, the gloves were handed to her coach. But more importantly, she sparred two rounds prior where the archer was instructed not to hit her hard. While he was working with her, she was starting talking mad shit at him and fouling him to the point where she tripped him. In the break, he said, what is going on here? We are trying to help. She's a woman. What was replied was, well, punch her back. She's a big girl, multiple time champion. He even tried to help her up. Nobody wanted that to happen. This also happened years ago and obviously the video was kept never seen. Even though all the comments that she was making about beating a guy, nothing was ever derogatory towards her or spoken of this moment. That was done out of respect for her and nothing to be gained out of what happened in the spar. Now she went to talking and he posted it. Now this is going to go around. Was it him or did she do it to herself? Years now, even her coach said, you had your chin up and you got caught shaking my head. So that's his response. Now, did he have the padding in the glove or not? I don't think there's any way to know that. She claims that he didn't. He claims that he did. Obviously, he doesn't want to be charged as a criminal. Now, listen, all of us would have some sort of ego flare up if this happened to us. No doubt about it. Listen, if something popped out on the internet of me getting floored by someone I was training with five years ago, I'd say, hey, kid, what are you doing? What are you gaining from sharing this? But also, maybe if I was going online and running my mouth, it would be warranted to a certain extent. But she cannot deal with the fact that this video got leaked and she's really self-destructing. We're going to get into a video of her absolutely ranting out of her mind right after you guys like this video. Wow. Wow, I'm good at this. For real, and now y'all talking about some, oh, she called out Keith Thurman. It still remains that Keith Thurman do not have any boxing skills and he got power too. Him and Roly need to fight each other. Really just a, a, an individual that we don't like. An energy, a certain bravado that we would equate to not even a man. People say, oh, she has a masculine energy. I really think it's a, a weak man's energy. It's not even a man's energy. It's a man who can't deal with defeat. The worst kind of man is a man who cannot give credit to another person for their success or anything they've done good. It's like they have to always hate and project their own insecurities. You don't typically see this in women, especially women towards men. You see it women towards women online. You don't see women acting like this towards the opposite sex, but Clarissa's breaking the mold here. And I'm like, and Rodney, and next time I see you, don't like it. You can, you can put your dukes up because I'm gonna punch the out your ass because Threatening whenever men. I see you in person, you bow down and you be respectful. That's period. But then you want to come to my inbox talking about somebody hating on you. You don't, you don't flatter yourself. Is you stupid? <laughs> hating on Roly. What you doing back there? You sound stupid. I can, I can guarantee you that Savannah Marshall can whoop Roly's ass. <laughs> Shakur gonna whoop Roly's ass. Devin Haney gonna whoop Roly's ass. Tia Fimo gonna whoop Roly's ass. Roley's a professional boxer. I think best known for losing to Tank David, if I'm not mistaken. He's a tremendous puncher, by the way. A little bit of a weirdo, in my opinion. That's some editorial add on there. But the fact is, he can punch really well. And she's arguing with a man because of a DM she received. Ryan Garcia gonna whoop Roley's ass. So Roley, while your punch came, uh, came to my inbox, I will square up with you and whoop your ass. There we go. Grown woman. For real. How far your daddy had to go across the ocean and uh, swim for his freedom. You was an ungrateful. For sure, because because your daddy did all that to get you over here, and then as soon as you fall pay per view, you got your dumb ass knocked out. Okay, so this is where, where where people really start to separate from her even further. Now she's getting into weird racial lines. She's saying your your dad swam here from another country for freedom, and as soon as you got the opportunity to reach a high high level, you got knocked out. By the way, that happens to everyone at the top level. You get knocked out. The fact that she's equating the fact that he lost against Tank David, I'm assuming that's what she's referencing to his dad swimming from another country to give Roly a better life is really trash human behavior if you ask me then, then after that they give you an easy fight to come back against a 50 year old man and then you and, and then you lose and then you accept the victory i would have handed that man his belt man here you go man i already know i lost the fight even though they they said i won here go the belt that's what you did you should have got that old man his belt you know what I'm a I'm a contact that old man and give him one of my belts because I got 13 of them. It's okay because if I can have 12 of them, that's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and get an old man one of my belts because he sure do deserve it. Now, Steve, why are you coming at this lady? First of all, let me just clarify the fact that I'm not really coming at her at all. I've actually always been a fan of hers. I just think this kind of is a straw that broke the camel's back even for me. Because she's a woman, she can't be braggadocious, but it's cool for men to do that. I've never liked braggadocious fighters that are males. I mean, if your name's not Muhammad Ali, I don't 
quit it. I didn't quit Mayweather for a long time when he was on that whole money thing. I mean, I love them as a boxer, but the whole bravado, even though I knew it was a shtick, kind of wasn't my thing. McGregor, loved them as a fighter in the cage and for sure entertaining, but I didn't identify with that kind of me, 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 I'm the man type behavior. I just thought it was two dimensional. It was surface level and it didn't do anything for me in terms of inspiration. She's that in female version. Now, just to be clear, most people don't like egomaniacs. She's projecting the fact that she's an egomaniac. I'm better than you guys at all of this stuff that I've dedicated my life to. It's because you dedicated your life to it that you're better than people at it. And now you're like congratulating yourself with the accomplishments that you've had. I mean, I don't understand the logic there. We've all given her her flowers. You're a tremendous fighter, but okay, people are doctors. People are rocket scientists. Like there's other things that are probably more crucial to society and they're not exactly, you know, sitting on, on Instagram live. So last night, Derek Santos jumped on ProBox TV and he actually spoke a little bit about what happened and what actually prompted the Russian fighter to go public. So let's hear it from Derek Santos. This is the coach himself speaking about it. And why he did that. And his point was, coach, uh, I've been tired of hearing her uh, talk trash over the years. And, uh, you know, champions should be honest. And he said, the truth is on our side. And that was his statement. Um, after that, you know, she went on rambling in the Instagram, uh, social media, which, you know, for a while I got involved in there, uh, very respectfully, uh, going back and forth with her, uh, until the point where she said that she was going to, uh, get me fired from boxing, uh, Ben from boxing. So now she's committing defamation. Mm -hmm. and has a malicious intent to ruin my good reputation in boxing and my career. There you go. So she's essentially threatening Derek Santos' career, as you just heard there. And again, that has huge implications. This is where an ego can go wrong. My point is this. If the padding was really taken out of the gloves, then likely she would have filed some sort of complaint, called the police, etc. So there you have it. Clarissa Shields being, you know, who she is. You guys can like her. You cannot like her. Me personally, I think I'm done with her because who wants to deal with a person or have have to entertain a person who is throwing around their ego. I mean, listen, you can do what you want. It's just we don't have to pay attention. You know, my newsletter down below works on developing good habits and developing good people. You got to be good in all ways. This is a perfect example. And I'm not on, I'm not preaching. It's just I'm a person who's worked on elements of my personality. So I'm not really good at jujitsu, but also a lying snake, an egomaniac. You have to have a balance and you have to be balanced in all ways. That's the ideal man. My newsletter is designed to help you with that. We put a ton of energy into it. I respond to every single email. So if you want to get a hold of me, signing up to the newsletter responding to them is the best way. I hope I can help you guys. Anyway, stay strong and I'll see you in the next one.